Hey everybody, it's White Wolf M here, and welcome to another episode of Weirdcraft. So today, I am going to be in creative. Ignore this hotbar, it needs to go drastically. So we're over at the zoo. Not finished, work in progress. Right, I've realised that we don't have mo creatures on the server, so I'm just trying to work out how I can get it. <laughs> Obviously it's not my server, so I'm just doing my best to try and see if we can get mo creatures because let's face it, there isn't a lot of like in like there's not a lot of creatures in basic Minecraft and there's not a lot of mods that add new creatures that aren't like, you know, just bad guys. So I'm trying to see if we can sort out a mo creatures edition. Uh but on top of that I'm going to do a few um, showcasey style episodes to show off some of the creatures that I will be including. But for the time being, what we're going to do is we're just going to build the enclosures and the stores today. I have made, like, look at the size of this. Can I just say, look at the size of this. I am really mad at myself that I made it so big without realising that Mo Creatures wasn't in. All of this was a giant mountain. I have spent like six to eight hours just getting this to how it is right now. two example enclosures this one's partially finished this one's finished this is this one's for penguins so they've got a nice little house got some hay straw bedding with some carpet obviously they've got some sea lanterns and then they've got a little water bit to swim in obviously it's all nice and snowy then over here is where the polar beds are gonna go as you can see there's an electric fence as well as the normal fence you know just <laughs> for our own safety honestly and then obviously there's water. It's very annoying. We're here because obviously I've said to make the enclosures and sort all that out. Obviously, I've got a tall wall because polar bears. And then after we've done this episode, there'll be a couple of episodes where we actually like, you know, do the showcases. Regardless, I don't think I'll need to do any videos on Mo Creatures because I mean it's been around for years. A lot of people use it and know what it's about. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to make a nice little house for our polar bears. So you see how that's got a nice little shack. But obviously these guys are going to need a much bigger shack. <laughs> so obviously I'm just going to start off exactly the same as the last one because I don't feel like it needs to be any different, really. Just bigger. There's the little house, they've got their water lit up, got their like dirt and snow. Obviously I can't really add toys right now so I'm hoping that's an alright idea. Let me know in the comments below what else I should add to the polar bear enclosure. Obviously other than, might be a good idea to add like a little shop here, like a souvenir shop. Something that I know for a fact that I wanted, which I think I'll do now while I'm thinking about it, is I wanted like a big underwater bit and I think it might be cool to do it under this tunnel so you can go over or under. I'll be right back.
Okay, this is as far as I'm going to get on this today. I think with this, what I'll do is I'll just, when we do the animal episode, I'll show you me putting the animals and the water in. But the actual putting up of the glass case and clearing this out, I think, I didn't realise it would be such a big job. So I'm going to do that in my own time. Um, but basically, this is going to be the entrance. We can go through there with the water bit, we can go on top. And on top, I think, we'll have the petting zoo. So what we're going to need, we're going to need like a little barn type thing. So if we get up some, oh, not reed, red. Where's the red wood? I would like some red wood, please. Oh, we've got some red painted wood. I suppose that'll have to do. There we go, so we've got two there, and one there. There's got to be like a big one in the middle for everyone. These little barns is basically where the animals would sleep basically and then in the centre that's where they'll go to be pet. So bunnies. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a sign, just to make my life easier when it comes around to actually like popping the animals in. So bunnies, pigs, and cows, chickens, sheep, and goats. Obviously I'll add roofs later, we're not here to do the full thing, just so you get a good idea of what's going on. So we need, like I said, we need a gift shop and a registration thing. The registration thing can just be a little booth, it doesn't have to be anything big or special. The gift shop, however, has to be huge, nice and big. So let's have a look at the wood, shall we? That'll do. Hello. It would make more sense to have it like that. Hello. Okay, the issue here is we wanted a nice big gift shop. That's not very big at all. Like, at all. That definitely looks big enough now. There we go. That looks good to me. Get our sign out. So I think this, because it's quite small. Okay. This one will be the oh, wrong side restaurant and toilets maybe it's 
to be the gift shop. Oh, this can be where the show stage slash shows. We're going to mark off where we're going to have other enclosures. I don't know what will be in them yet. <laughs> but we can alter the size and the style of the enclosures to what we're going to want in there at a later date. Because it would make more sense considering at the minute we don't even have mo creatures. <laughs> So, I think the main issue now is the fact that I don't know what is going anywhere. So, like, I think it'd be really cute to have, like, a little lookout here, like a little lookout point. Okay, so until I can get a feel of the physical animals I'm going to be able to incorporate properly, I'm not going to be able to finish this off until later on. But obviously by that point you guys will be able to see the finished zoo. There we go guys, so that's the end of this episode. Oh, evil creatures. So hopefully this wasn't too boring. I just wanted to get a general gist and lay of the land, kind of show you what I've done so far, try and make some stuff with you. But obviously this kind of stuff, it can take a long time to do it correctly. So, obviously, you'll see everything nearer towards the end. The next few episodes are basically going to be about 
some little mod spotlight showcases to show the animals that I'd like to use, excluding mo creatures, because I will get that eventually in some way, shape, or form. I will get it. <laughs> so, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you all very soon. Subscribe to become part of the warrant today, and don't forget, it's nice to be nice. Bye!